to my car. So this is my car, my hoopty, the little baby, my 2001 Nissan Sentra, the hoopty of all hoopties. Let's start at the front. Number one, this is obviously different color, different texture than the rest of the car. Even though my father says it's not. Um, of course, inspection is expired. Let's go to the hood. The front is not that bad. Okay, besides the fact that the license plate is gone. Let my mama use the car. She came back, the license plate was gone. So there's that. Then you come over here. This tire is actually a little flatter than I thought. The cap that is supposed to be on there, the beautiful, illustrious Nissan cap, fell off on the highway. But then we come over here, standard window, okay, real cute, real cool, real collected. Um, I think right here, I was driving and I hit somebody else's mirror, so then it scratched it. Now, Damn! this right here happened when somebody tried to break into the car. Somebody who obviously wasn't experienced enough to steal a 2001 Nissan Sentra. But that's neither here nor there because I'm letting God have it and I'm letting it off my heart. But they smashed out the window. Didn't even successfully steal the car. Didn't take anything from the car. So here's my replacement window. The ghetto. The ghetto. Right, so then we go around here, and here's where they missed the window and then hit the car. But again, I'm letting it go. Then you come around the back. Nothing real fancy schmancy. Over here, I went into school to learn to be productive, to gain something. Then I came out, somebody hit my car and left. And then I went to Juma the other day and somebody hit it again and he tried to call the cops, but my license ain't right. So I left. See, everything on this side, real cool, real calm, real collected. Right here, I was driving, but I wasn't paying attention. I hit the side of the highway. So there's that. Now for the inside of the car, again, this is a 2001. Um, this middle console right here, I actually hit a bump and it fell off. So now it serves as a makeshift napkin dispenser and a brush holder. Um, radio that doesn't light up. Here are the air controls. One and two do not work, but three and four do. So it's either nothing or a whole lot of everything. Nutty buddy in the door console. Thanks a lot. Just random stuff. This was also another console and I hit another bump and that fell off. So this is actually a cup holder. So I'm actually happy about that. The glove compartment is detachable. <laughs> now for the back of the car. Again, nothing real special. So when they bust out my window, glass got everywhere and I refused to clean it up. So if somebody has to sit in the back, I just put these bags down and let them sit. I have no idea what this is. Some Mary Kay case. I have absolutely no idea what this is. This is a Chinese food container. Um, as of recently, my mother put the plastic there because I was just letting it rock and letting the window be open. So naturally, leaves got in here. It rained all on the Flow. The ceiling is coming down. This is my life, people. Real, real raunchy, real ghetto. And last, but not least, the trunk. We have a nice um, freezer bag in here. We have a spare tire. This, what you see right here, is my catalytic converter the catalytic converter pipe that leads to the muffler and the cover for it wait a minute wait wait a minute hold wait first of all you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said followed by a very random pizza box that i'm almost certain actually has pizza in it again thanks a lot so the story behind this is this actually 
I hit a bump. I think I hit a speed bump too fast and it got dented. Um, and then I just kept driving on it, so eventually it fell. And then I went on the highway and it was hanging and then it just fell off. So as you can imagine with the catalytic converter being in the trunk, the car is loud. And I also run out of gas all the time because there's a hole in my gas tank. And I can't get no more than five to seven dollars worth of gas. I'm actually gonna insert the clip from the first time I tried to shoot this video and I ran out of gas. As we're sitting and I go to start the car up, the car shuts off because it's out of gas. Why is it out of gas? Because there's a hole in my gas tank. So at one time, I could only get five to seven dollars worth of gas. To number one, not waste money. And to number two, it's about to all drain out anyway. This is, this is crazy. This is crazy, but this is the life of having a hoopty. And why do I still have a hoopty? Why haven't I gotten a new car? Poverty. I'm poor. I am poor. <sighs> Yay! So much fun. <sighs> let me call roadside assistance. Mind you, I'm at my house. So let me call roadside assistance so they can bring me some gas. This is ghetto. If you have a hoopty, if you're saving money because you're not paying a car note, because you're not paying a bunch of insurance, get roadside assistance. I'm so happy this happened while I'm shooting this video. So you can know just how crazy it is to have a hoopty. <sighs> it's 3.38. And I'm about to request for somebody to bring me gas. We'll see how long it takes them to get here. It is now 4.52. And the guy is here with my gas. It's almost dark outside now. But the guy just gave me the gas. But I think they only give you like two gallons. Um, so I think I'm about to run to the gas station and get some more gas. Hopefully that was the only problem. So it's getting dark. But I'm going to let y'all drive in the car with me so y'all can see what this is really like to have a hoopty and again this is life of the hoopty if you have a hoopty ain't no shame in your game sometimes i feel a little ashamed or embarrassed in my car and i'm like it is what it is i'm not that ashamed or embarrassed if you were that ashamed or embarrassed in my car buy me a new car other than that this is gonna be that um so let me go get some more gas right now i'm really hoping that that was the only problem since it's getting cold out i'm noticing my car is like making little noises like when it start i don't even think that gas did anything but this will last and y'all we make it to the gas station right now because baby girl got things to do got things to do so we out let's see that i noticed it's not acting like it don't want to move Boy, having a hoopty like more than anything is super stressful. Y'all probably can't even hear me right now because the car is so loud. But y'all can definitely hear the plastic. Like the plastic is like low key coming up. So that's ghetto. It's so loud, bro. Like it's so loud that it, I don't really care how anybody else feels about the car it's really about how i feel and i'm annoyed like driving this car it gets I, like i get angry because this is ghetto and i'm tired of it like having a loud car when i tell you unless i have headphones i cannot hear like if i'm on the phone in the car i have to put in my airpods <laughs> like flex um i have to put in my airpods or else I can't hear.
here the plastic, aka my window. Ghetto. Ghetto. But I'm glad. All I can say is I'm thankful to just have a vehicle, even if I have to drive with the heat on blast because my window is practically open. Come on! Also, the car has no shocks, so anytime I hit a bump, I feel everything. And it gives me a headache. Look! Do you know how disturbing that is? Another type of okay, I can't even hear me. No, it is not about to rain. <laughs> Boy, Boy, no. Okay, now y'all can hear me. Um had another type of more secure plastic on there at one point um, it was like really good really sticky and somebody poked a hole in it and ripped it oh what's going on over here oh yeah Allah yeah Allah I hope they're okay I'll be the person that be like slowing down to see what's going on, on the other side of the road and you know everybody that be causing traffic that be me I'm tired man be looking at me like I'm crazy and I'd be like let me get seven dollars right now <laughs> with my cord come on Poppy what you doing baby how of us down on AB yeah hi how are you just let me get seven Yeah. Well, let's take it for a spin. That noise you hear are my brakes because they're bad. I wanted to mix it up, do something a little creative, a little spontaneous for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I've received lots of questions around my car. I'm constantly joking and talking crap about it on social media. So I was like, hmm, let me let the people see just how ghetto my lifestyle is and what I'm really going through. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, connect with me and follow me on all my social medias. And I'll see y'all later. Bye. Salekos. Ha <laughs> ha!